Hey everybody, got a quick unboxing here. This is my new TID TPC kit or set from Festool. Ordered from Lee Valley and let's take a look at what's inside. So we get the usual documentation that I have not really taken these out. I did just hold the drills, but that was it. So we have the TPC hammer drill, kind of regular drill combo with a four amp hour battery, Airstream, really nice battery. These will work on my track saw as well. So as I change over battery system, this could be very helpful. And then also what we have here is the TID 18. So this is the impact driver and also with a four amp hour battery. So nice to have those two in the kit. We of course get this ridiculous Festool battery literature that comes in all their sets. So this is utterly ridiculous, but such as is for a international company. Then for the hammer drill, we do get this handle, not too different from what you would typically get from um, DeWalt or other manufacturers. It is pretty comfortable. I don't usually use these unless I really have to, but let's put that there. We then have a TCL6 driver, more literature and manuals for each of these, probably for the charger, for this drill, for this drill, but what other goodies do we have in here? Oh, yes, look at these. Two clips for your belt. So these are, I believe, mountable to either side. For me, I don't use these. I am mostly a person that works from home. And when I do go to the job site, I'm not usually hanging these on a belt. So yeah, nice that they include two. Then we've got some chucks. Let's take a look at the chucks. So we've got, what's this one? Oh gosh. Let's switch hands. I think this is the Jacob's chuck. Oh. Oh, I wish I did this before. There we go. So Jacob's chuck for the TID, or sorry, the TPC. So the, the TID, just like most impact drivers, just kind of has that one connection. You'll see that here on my DeWalt. So this is the DeWalt, let's see the model. DCF885, and I've had this for almost seven years. And listen to how loud that is compared to. Now, when it actually comes to the percussion, I have heard that the TID-18 is a bit loud, but as far as kind of that one-to-one -one comparison, so TID-18, which is not the star of the show. I, I think that that's the main thing is that this is essentially a 200 ish dollar Canadian impact driver on it, its own. So nothing too, too special, but I wouldn't expect a lot from an impact driver, but oh my gosh. The smoothness, so just look at the vibration. The Fest, or sorry, the DeWalt's much more violent with that. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. I mean, the DeWalt has kind of started to, to show its legs for me and I don't wanna change the brushes on it. So yeah, decent time for the change, but the real star of the show is the TPC. And for a few reasons, one is it being able to take these different style chucks. So whether it's this Jacob chuck or, I've never had this in my impact driver or regular drill, but this right angle attachment, which is really beefy. And yeah, it's, even with one hand, let's see if I'm able to clamp that down. Yeah, then we can, Look, it's got these positive stops. So with one hand, I was able to put that on. Probably not great for the plastic on there, but yeah, it's got these nice positive stops. I'd guess that there are 16 of them. Oh, and yeah, it goes either way. So this new right angle attachment that they have for the TPC compared to, what was it? The PDC before, I could be wrong on that, but is, very nice. And just for comparison, so I do have this DeWalt 
hammer drill that I've had for seven years. So it is the DCD 985 and it's got the kind of drill, screw, hammer. And for this one, we've got drill, hammer, which makes sense. I mean, drill and screw are pretty much the same, but look at the gear shift on this. It's so nice. Now, the DeWalt one, not too bad, just a little more forceful, but I am gonna read up on the Festool one just to kind of see exactly when you use these. So not only can you go up and down, left, right, but you can even go diagonal. That's wild. And on the bottom, you can change your speed, you can change your lighting settings and a few other things on that. So yeah, very happy with that. And what I had ordered in addition to this, and I, I'm frankly a little disappointed that didn't come with this, is the Centrotech Chuck. So if you buy this as its own tool and not in, in the set with the TID, you actually get the Centrotech Centro Tech Chuck with it. But for me, $61 for this. Now, I don't mind paying that because I actually do have a couple of Centro Tech um, bits. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. There we go. So yeah, really easy to put these on. So I think everything's considered fast fix, which is kind of Festool's thing for everything. And what's interesting, so I actually have a really good bit and um, what's this called? Um, so countersink on this drill. And this is a Centrotech, which I believe is just because it can grip in a couple of different spots. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I may have to put this down. No. Look. Let's see. Yep, we got it in. So a couple of things I want to show with this. Well, one primary one is on this DeWalt drill, you'll see when I turn it on, it's never square. And I think part of that is because I'm using the Jacobs chuck on it, which I mean, well, that's what you get with it. So that is what it is. This Centrotech, and I had just tried this just a couple minutes ago. Look at how straight this is. That's wild to me, just the, the accuracy of that. And I think that for me in wanting to drill the 200 plus uh, holes in the top of my DIY MFT, kind of similar to what I had done in this little test piece, and they use Centrotech bits that, that would definitely work with the DeWalt, and they did. And I used them in the DeWalt for this, and, and the, the results were quite frankly, pretty good. But the annoyance of rechucking this in this drill versus, well, and in addition, just how square this is makes this chuck well worth that $61. I mean, it's ridiculous for a lot of folks. So like this is when it comes to the entire kit and everything, taxes in Canada, so this is in Ontario, so like over $900 for all this, but I am so far, and not using it yet, but very happy with this purchase. I know that Makita makes some great ones, Milwaukee makes some great ones. I know these are older DeWalt tools, but for me, honestly, going cabinetry, Centrotech is gonna be a central part of what I do. So going Festool, knowing that the TPC is going to be among the best drill, hammer drill combos, and that the TID is going to be kind of your average to high end kind of impact driver. It's not gonna be as good as the higher end Milwaukee. It's not gonna be as good as the higher end Makita. And I'm not sure about DeWalt, but um, honestly, th th this is really the, the right move for me. So I'm happy with this purchase. I know this is a luxury item, but yes, I am thrilled and it is gonna be going through its paces when I do drill the 200 plus holes, actually three times on this. So it's gonna be over 600 holes that I'm drilling, both with this three millimeter bit and then also a 20 millimeter bit. So these are gonna get a bit of a workout this weekend, but uh, in the meantime, 
I'm happy with the purchase. So let me know in the, the comments below what you think about this kind of luxury purchase. Again, the DeWalt's easily would get me by with everything. The Festool, a little smoother, a little more accurate. For me, I wanted them, I got them, here they are. So let me know if you think I'm ridiculous. Let me know what your thoughts are on your drills and drivers and if you think they're worth the investment. So thanks for watching, more videos soon.